Of course, switching off is easier said than done. I'm now joined in the studio by Werner Eichhorst from the Institute of Labour Economics, who's done research on the subject of burnout. And I'd like to ask you first, is burnout real? Has work really become more stressful? Yeah, given the data that we have at hand, I think it's an obvious uh, development that we're moving away from this, let's say, physical hazards of the old economy to these more psychosocial uh, risks, um, including burnout in the modern, heavy, uh, creative, uh, stressful uh, world of work. So this is a real problem and there also is a, a real debate about uh, policies at a company level to reduce um, the level of stress. Has digitalization uh, made things worse or, or has it has it taken stress away? Well, in a way, um, I think given the data also that was shown in the, in the movie, um, we can definitely see that um, the intensity of information and, and the flow of information has become faster and more intense. So this is one thing. Um, on the other hand, um, digitization is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it also allows for new ways of flexible responding to certain uh, demands, uh, i.e. Uh, maybe responding to something while you're not in the office, um, and also um, to interact with your colleague to solve an urgent uh, problem without uh, going uh, to the office on the weekend, for example. Yeah, that's an interesting point. I, I just imagine a, a top manager sitting at home at the dinner table with the family, the kids are there, and then the phone buzzes and there's an email she's been waiting for and she just quickly types an answer and goes comes back to the, to the family. Um, 20 years ago, she's, she wouldn't be at home with her family. She'd be in the office waiting for a fax. So uh, is that progress or is it not? I would say this is rather a, a, a positive development because it allows you to uh, recombine uh, family uh, or, or private activities with, with business requirements to a better extent. Um, but at the same time, I think it's also a, there's also the need for a mature and a, and a bit more more realistic uh, uh, behavior towards uh, digitization, not uh, potentially contributing to further increase, um, let's say, the information overload, also to a, a uh, establish certain uh, hygiene uh, principles uh, regarding emails and so forth. Um, if you look at the figures, it looks like that we're working less. Uh, in Germany, I think it's roughly three hours less per week than uh, 25 years ago. Uh, are, are we becoming too soft, maybe, when it comes to um, work? I would not say so. Um, for full-time workers, um, the working time is basically uh, the same. Um, we have seen uh, more uh, part-time workers. So, well, um, if it's the same, why has it become more stressful? Um, the, well, um, people are expected to work more, to have uh, tighter deadlines, um, the productivity is increasing, also the need to be creative. Um, so, subjectively, this can create uh, certain uh, situations of stress, but only if the resources and, and the social environment uh, that is available is not favorable to such a development. So there's definitely an issue for firm level policies, also for the, uh, the working culture um, at, the, at the workplace that really makes a difference. Uh, are companies, big companies, doing something and what are they doing to reduce stress levels? Well, I think the, the bigger companies are definitely uh, uh, in, uh, can dispose of uh, better resources to professionally address these issues. Um, they can establish uh, more formal rules probably, but um, the same goes also with smaller companies. Um, the basic thing is the cake is in the eating. Yeah? So that means uh, in day-to-day -day practices also uh, in terms of explicit or implicit um, 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 demands by, for example, managers or your boss, I think this really makes a difference. It's not so much about what's written on paper or put somewhere on the intranet um, that makes a difference. Werner Eichhorst from the Institute of Labour Economics, thank you very much for coming to the studio today. You're welcome.